Hello and welcome to this first squat session of a two month loading phase. The strategy, so the phase is going to be two months and the reason why it's going to be a two month loading stra uh, phase is because I'm going to load on deadlifts as well. Anyway, so the starting point for this loading phase is going to be 150 kilograms, three sets of three reps. And the next session is going to be a different workout session. So that's going to be singles only, three to four singles, and starting with my current max, which is 165 kilograms. And then once I'm done with three to four singles, then I'll drop the weight to 110 kilograms and do two sets of six to 10 repetitions, again, completely raw. In terms of accessory exercises, I will be doing leg presses, sled push pull, and hamstring curls. And from time to time, lunges. I'm going to start with, with these as accessory exercises and see what sort of results I get, let's say, after two or three sessions. And then, of course, modify, add other exercises to my accessory work or increase the weight or reps and so on. But um, I will know more on what I need to modify as my strength develops. And, of course, the accessory work is going to be in every exercise, in every uh, squat session and I will not film those maybe from time to time I might film probably a session just to give you an idea of what it is that I'm doing but I'm going to mainly concentrate on filming the squats and as always if you enjoy content like this please don't forget to hit like subscribe and ring the notification bell below with that said let's get started and hopefully not just me but you out there watching are going to find some value in this, in the content I'm going to produce and the loading phase and strategies that I'm going to use, hopefully, they help you as well. So, let's get started. Now, because I've done part of the warm-ups, I'm going to start with a little bit of weight, not just with the bar, in case you were wondering, why am I not just doing a few reps on the bar to begin with, since it's part of the warm-up. All right, so warm up is almost done. Now next, I'm going to load the working weight, which is 150 kilograms, 330 pounds. And I'm going to do just one single first to get a feel of the weight. And I'll take the shoes off. And of course, I'll start using the belt. Then after that, the hard work starts. So get ready for pain.
All right. So this felt uh, pretty good, challenging enough, let's say. Now in terms of break, I'm going to time myself because I don't want to lose track of the, the, the length of break. So it's going to be two to three minutes, maximum three minutes break in between the sets. Now the lighter the weight, of course, the shorter the break. So you will see what I mean when I do the speed reps on much lighter weight. So the, the break is going to be anywhere between 45 seconds to a minute. So that is something that if you're going to follow my program that you should keep in mind because breaks will actually play a big role. We don't want to rush the next set, but we definitely don't want to take long breaks to the point that the body is cold. Now let's get ready for pain. And three reps is the aim, and this is the first set. First set done. Now, so if this would have been a top set, I could have probably pulled five, but I didn't really want to rush it. So I have this two month loading phase. Now, and I don't want to rush it. I want to build the strength gradually. And then the aim is of course, at the end of the loading phase, I should be squatting 180 kilograms, reaching my all time PB. And then from there build on to 200 kilograms so that is the aim but the 200 kilograms is by the end of the year and of course I have a I've enrolled for a competition a powerlifting competition which is next year I think is in six months from or uh, seven months from now it's plenty of time but I do have I know one of my weaknesses is the bench bench press because of the, my shoulder injury and I'm going to see how am I going to actually work with the shoulder but I'd like to increase the bench. Deadlift and squat will be fine, I know, for the competition, but if I don't work on the bench, then yeah, my, my bench is going to ruin the overall numbers. But anyway, so that's seven months or eight months, I think, from now. So for now, I want to concentrate on the next um, set. So as you can see, this is basically the, the break I took, which is roughly two minutes. Yeah, the second set is quite strange. It didn't feel as easy as the first set, of course. Uh, with each set, less energy left to lift, but uh, it felt the first, the first rep and the last rep, they felt strange. I think on the last rep, I sort of lost a little bit of that, of my form, with the weight pushed me a little forward. So that's again the shoulder mobility. I, uh, if I keep my arms here, you'd want to keep them as close as possible, but my shoulder mobility doesn't allow me that. So I end up with arms somewhere here, which makes it much more difficult because, and I tend to forget that I need to keep my arm, my elbows pointing down. 
because as you're coming up, you tend to push up, of course. If arms are in this position, you tend to push sideways, and then, of course, that's where the weight rolls onto your neck and you kind of, it pushes you down. So you'd want to be mindful of all these techniques. And of course, I will be talking in detail about these techniques. And of course, I have a video where I talk about these. If you would want to check out the form, then I recommend you check out the video. I might link it in the description of this video, but I don't know if I'd recommend just go through my channel if you're interested and check out the video where I talk about the form. But for now, let's do the last set. In the last rep, I could feel that the weight was rolling onto my neck and trying to push me forward. But I realized that, of course, that split second. So then I just pointed my elbows down and started pushing up, so which made it much, much easier. Uh, but the, the, that felt good. So three sets of three reps done on 150 kilograms. Next, I'm going to load 110 kilograms and these are going to be two sets of six to ten repetitions, completely raw. And that is it for the squat session. Of course, then I will go do some uh, sled push-pull and hamstring curls, but I won't film those just to give you an idea of what else I'm doing in terms of uh, accessory work. So I'll keep also rotating the accessory work because in some sessions I'll do uh, hamstring curls and sled push pull and then in some other sessions I, I'm, I will do uh, leg presses and lunges and so I'll keep rotating and see what works best. But of course this is not any scientifically proven plan so, or program and so I would also recommend you do your, your research and see find something that works best for you. If my um, experience that I'm sharing with you uh, on exercises, the frequency of the exercises, the accessory work and what, what not helps you, then I'm glad to share that experience with you. And of course, as always, if you find some value in this content, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell below. And I appreciate your support. So, for now, I will um, load 110 kilograms. And those are the two last sets that I'm going to do for this squat session. And these are going to be speed squats. I find the speed squats to be a great exercise for building strength. So what I've done in the past is one breath, three reps, another breath, three reps, and another breath, three reps. And I'm going to try the same today if that works. If not, then I'll breathe with each rep. But let's see. So because of the speed at which I'm doing the reps, if I were to breathe 
to breathe with each rep, then you really have to find a good breathing rhythm. So by the time you start going down, you've already breathed and you're already braced to go down and then come back up. So that's why I try to do one breath, three reps. I don't have to worry, is my form correct? As soon as you breathe, as you're up top here, you breathe and you start going down, you might actually not have that bracing and then you're, you compromise the form. So that's the only reason actually I do three reps, one breath, three reps. And unless you master the breathing, so as soon as you're back up there, quick, you go down. So because of the speed, these are pretty tricky when it comes to the breathing. But anyway, so uh, for now, let's do the last set. Now next I'll be doing sled push pull and hamstring curls, but I won't film those. But my recommendation is try to include accessory work whenever possible. So if you're going for a workout, let's say you have chest, uh, at the end of your primary workout, do two to three sets on let's say hamstring curls. And the next day, let's say if you have shoulder as your primary workout, then at the end of your primary workout, do two to three sets on sled push pull it's not really it's like a five minute workout right but you get some really good uh accessory work done and then you just strengthen your body that much more anyway so that's it for today's session and if you enjoy content like this please don't forget to hit like subscribe and ring the notification bell below it definitely helped me stay motivated and produce more content like this and share the experience with you out there. Now, if you're an elite power lifter, I don't know if you find some value in my, in my uh, content, but I would definitely appreciate your feedback. So please go ahead and leave a comment. What do you see that could need improvement here? I don't claim to be the only expert on squats or deadlifts or whatever exercise that I'm creating content for but I do know a little bit of how this, this works. And I would appreciate your feedback, of course, if you are a coach or a, an elite power lifter. Uh, with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next workout session.